Music? Yeah, and I hope it's the one you've been expecting. You've been trying so hard to sell your music. Seems like songwriting ain't a fit business for a girl. But be that as it may, I just gotta go into action. It ain't like I didn't give you no leeway. I already carried you two months, and I can't wait any longer. So bad they can't get any worse, they just got to get better. It's the law of gravity or something. I'll keep the piano. Not much good, and I can't play a note, but it's better than your clothes. You can take them. Thanks. Hey, got any place to go? Oh, I wish I'd kept up my vocal. Oh, well, don't get panicky. There's plenty of time. It's only one o'clock. The room's rented. Just be out by three. Awful hard, ain't it? I brought Mr. Hill's registry card, sir. Right. He's new here. Have I met him? No, Mr. Barger. He left town immediately after taking occupancy. How do you do, Miss Walker? I'm the manager. It's nice having you here. Well, it's nice being here. Will you be with us long? Well, that depends on my uncle's return. Oh. Then you won't be here to meet him? No, I, I expect to leave before he gets back. Boy, take the lady to Mr. Hale's apartment. Yes, sir. If I may say so, sir, this is a bit irregular. To have a niece? Nonsense. I've known some gentlemen to even have sisters. Nobody home, and, and I don't know nothing. Boswell Agency? Well, Mr. Boswell wants a decision. Is he going to submit those new tunes, or ain't he? Well, I, I can't ask him, is he is, or, or is he ain't? He, he done left town. Wait a minute. Hello. This is Mr. Hale's secretary speaking. What is it, please? Um, well, Mr. Boswell was negotiating with Hale for some original music, and he's very anxious to hear it. Oh, Mr. Boswell hasn't heard the music. I see. Well, I have it here. Mr. Hale asked me to bring it to you. In the morning, how early? Well, uh, how early do you open? I'll be there. Thank you.
Uncle Phil, it's a pleasure to have you as a collaborator. Oh, that's all right. Don't mention it. You wouldn't have a spare sandwich around, would you? Why, of course. The kitchen. Oh, you think of everything. Take it easy, Mr. Gershwin. Take it easy. Of course, I'll help you write your new rhapsody. Mr. Berlin, Irving, do tell the boys how many copies of our last number we sold. Now, Bob McKay, let me see those lyrics of yours. I might even write a tune for them. <laughs> Give me a proper NATO one, please. Say, Dane, nobody. Say, if you're holding target practice in there, would you mind moving out to the three mile limit? I'm doing some very difficult work here. At least I was until you started blasting. From the way you sound to me, you must be a boiler maker doing some homework. Now just start throwing boilers at my wall. And if I'm too subtle, pipe down. Don't you yell at me, you. you. Riveter? This is the Boswell Advertising Agency. No, by appointment only. Go away. The Vigoro health ads are all set. I pause for a figure, Ola. I bet you. Look, look, I show you. Keep your shirt on, son. You start posing around here, I'll have you pink. Hello, Chef. What can I do for you? Uh, I brought Mr. Hale's music and the full orchestration. Oh, well, I'll locate Mr. Boswell. Andrew, Mr. Boswell, please. Yes? Whose music? Hale's. Send her in Luigi. Tell him to listen to it. I'm too busy. Uh, uh, the Duchess de Lovely is... Uh, uh, don't bother me. I've got to set this Four Seasons ad. Well, where's Winter? Hey, Winter. But, Winter. but, 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 uh, but... Go uh, away. Winter, can't and, you get here on time? And you see, under the picture, Paley's Woolies, they serve you man and boy. Oh, I must tell you. Uh, if you don't keep away from me, I'll fire you. Why, no, no, it's, it's all too flat. There's no lilt to it. Uh, where's your vision? Spring, summer, that suggests blossoms. Why, uh, make it poetical. That's the idea. Write a poem that'll sell underwear. The Duchess is waiting. I don't... This, uh, where? In your office. In my office? Why didn't you tell me that before? This is the last straw. Your... Uh, get another winter. That one's too far advanced. Sorry, Duchess. Extremely sorry. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I tried. Of course he did. He always tries. How about my program? What have you got for me? Musical nuances. Rich as the Duchess de Lovely's youth cream. Fragrant as her perfume. Colorful as her room. Listen, Bozzy. Don't try to sell that stuff to me. I make it. What have you to offer? Well, we, we, we suggest music. Whose music? Phil Hale. Ah, the same old shop-worn tunes. With a girl singing them like a boy and a boy singing them like a girl. No dice. Well, uh, uh, say uh, something fresh and original. Did you ever think of that? You think of it. That's what I pay you for. Why, uh, I have it. Plaintive tunes depicting the clear, limpid waters of the Ganges. Bunk. The Ganges is a foul river. You're wasting my time. Think of something quick. Uh, uh, folk songs, peasants singing in the fields. Oh, birds don't use paste powder. No. The girl you sent me, she played. And my men, they play the music too. And it is a one big cheese. What music? Bill Hale's the music. Quick. The deal's off. That's it, please. And uh, Luigi, no, no snap judgment. What's wrong with the music? Is it like Bach? No. Is it like Mendelssohn? No. Is it like a Brahm, a Wagner, a Schubert? No. I can't find it. 
Maybe it's the lost cord. You mean to say you can't recognize any part of it? You can't tell from where it's stolen? No. Then it must be original. Come on. Da tutto il mondo lo sto cazzo passando. E questo la torre la cacò. Non ci va tutto di I never thought he had it in him. It's hot chow without being high to do. Why, it's positively torrid. Can't you see it, Duchess? Hot tunes to sell cold creams. That's music. That's music. Mad Symphony by Phil Hale and Judy Walker. Who's Judy Walker? Me. Uh, oh. Since when has Hale had a collaborator? Well, uh, since uh, he started collaborating. Got any more of this stuff? Stacks of it. We'll take it. Did a lovely program featuring original music never before heard on the air. How about it, Duchess? Splendid. Not you, her. It's a deal. Got a good lyrics to whip up the word? Dear lady, the best. Daddy of them all, Tommy Green. Tommy Green. I heard you the first time. You can't sell me that honeysuckle twiner. But he's an expert. He should be. He's twined honeysuckle around everything from the cabin door to radio center. No sale. Uh, Bob McKay? Ah, there you have something. He writes sophisticated lyrics. And he can sing, too. We'll make him double in brass. Get him, sign this girl, step on it, get it going, put it all together, and if it doesn't spell mother, I'll buy. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Vaughan, Maggie Conway, alias the Duchess to Lovely, Duchess to you. See you around, boys. When do I start? Just as soon as I sever all business relations with this gentleman. But, but, uh... Bob McKay won't collaborate, you can't get him. But I might, if, if... Now, you've butted yourself into this, don't try to if yourself out of it. Bob McKay won't collaborate with Hale. He hates him. You mean they've had trouble? Yeah, girl trouble. And Dorothy Day's the girl they fought over. Oh, yes? Who won? Hale. Uh, don't ask silly questions. Either get Bob McKay or, or a new job. And uh, give this young lady a check for $500. 500 Oh. Well, all right. Make it seven fifty dollars then. <laughs> well, uh, say a thousand. Is that all right? Oh, that's swell. All right. Get a check and make it payable to uh, Judy Walker and Phil Hale. Good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you wait, checkmate out as a retainer. Could I cash it here? Uh, yes, of course, if you have Mr. Hale endorse it with you. Oh, no, no, never mind. Don't bother. Um, I'm not very good at money matters. A true musician. Look, how soon does the broadcast go on? Well, just as soon as I can get Bob McKay to write the lyrics. I'll draw up a contract and bring it to you this afternoon. Thank you. Oh, um, I live at 320 Park Avenue, apartment 801. I thought you were the woman from next door. Why, you, you wouldn't hit... Oh, wouldn't I? Listen, Lyons, there's a feud going on here, and you'll be safer in other parts. Go away. But, but, Mr. McKay, uh, uh, Boswell sent me. I don't care if the whole police conference in Geneva sent you. Ow! Did you do that? Oh, 
I'm sorry. It slipped out. You mean you can do better? Come in. You can yell while I bang. Reinforcements. That's what I needed. Now we outnumber a two to one. Come on. Please, Mr. McKay, be calm. The, the lady next door is... She's that... a fiend. She shattered my nerves. She's blasted my career. I'll never be able to write again. I'm a ruined man. Oh, please, pull yourself together. Read this music. It'll soothe you. We want you to write lyrics for it. I write words to no man's piping. Oh, it is the man. It's beautiful music by a beautiful girl. How beautiful. Oh, a, a plate of loveliness, a seductive beauty. The girl? Uh, no, the, the, the music. Not in. Oh, but the girl's beauty beggars description. Where does she live? Uh, right uh, next to... If I ever lay eyes on that woman, I'll kill her. Oh, please, please, read this. Boswell will meet your price. Got something. Oh, she, she has everything. Ah, uh, that's all I wanted to know. I've got a set of lyrics that have just been crying for music like this. Oh, she must be lovely. Well, I'll dig them up and bring them down to Boswell's office in the morning. When will I meet her? Well, I'll, I'll have her there in the morning. Yes, yes, yes. yes. If, I, if I can arrange it amicably. Ah, uh, you'll have no trouble with me. Mr. Lyons, you have restored my faith in womanhood. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. I, I thought you were the man next door. You were going to, uh... Yes. It's a war. Uh, a town war or something? <clears throat> no, a two-people revolution, and my side's winning. Here, uh, here are the contracts. I, uh, you can look them over. I, I closed with Bob McKay for the lyrics. He, he likes your music. Oh, really? You sit down. Thank you. Oh, you don't know what that means to me, to write with Bob McKay. It's been one of my most cherished hopes. What's he like? Well, he's, uh... Bang up sort of a fellow. Just my type. When do I meet him? Oh, is that, uh, is that necessary? Well, how are we going to collaborate? Oh, there, there you have me. Uh, that is, I, I hope it'll be a pleasant arrangement. Well, now, don't you worry. I can get along with anybody. I'm a diplomat. Yes, yes, apparently. Apparently. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'll be at the office in the morning. Oh, no, no. Make it uh, afternoon. Late afternoon. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I, I was afraid you'd come <clears throat> uh, late. Oh, no, right on the dot. You were on the dash. Come on. What's the rush? Well, it, it's a busy office. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Lyon. Uh, Luigi wants to see you. Yeah, but don't push. It, you slipped. I'll have some ashes put there. <clears throat> Something important has just come in. Stay here. I'll be right back. Don't come out. Don't budge. Hello. I'm a little late. Yes, you, you're not late enough. You, you must come back this afternoon, and then you'll be too early, unless, uh, unless it's late afternoon. Uh, make it early tomorrow. Oh, but they, they phoned me to come this morning. They said Bob McKay would be here. Oh, no, 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 he won't. You see, his, uh, his grandmother died, so he went to the ball game. She was a doubleheader. <laughs> his grandmother? No, no. Where is everybody? Oh, there you are, Miss, uh, Miss McKay. I'm Walker. Oh, where's McKay? I am. How do you do? I am uh, wondering... Uh, so am I wondering why I keep you here. So am I wondering uh, how I'm going to stay here. You're still here? <clears throat> uh, Luigi, uh, Mr. McKay wants to hear the orchestration. Oh, you write the lyrics? And what lyrics? You hear the orchestration and you uh, play the lyrics. And I'll be right back if I'm still here. He's, he's a drunk punch. <laughs> you mean punch drunk? <laughs> yeah, drunk punch. All right, men, prepare to make music. Those that blow on something, take a deep breath. And those who fiddle it, fiddle it. They're uh, ready to play, Mr. Bothwell. You go in and listen, come, Miss Walker. Uh, no, 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 we're listening here. What's the matter? Well, you know how Luigi curses when things go wrong. It might shock Miss Walker. Oh, do you understand Italian? No. It's quite all right, come on. Uh, but uh, but uh, the musicians aren't wearing their pants. What? It, it is a new rule of Luigi's. No pants during rehearsals. Why? Well, who can tell what passes through the mind of a genius? We'll listen here. No pants. Shh, quiet. 
Quiet. Please stop tackling me. I want to see you. You've got to go back. You've got to go back. For how many yards? Well, you've got to... Uh, you've got to sing. Me sing? For what? Uh, uh, for Boswell. For me. For heaven's sakes. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, sing. Please, uh, won't you sing? You must sing. Okay, Spengali. Congratulations. My my bicarbonate of soda. My job. No. Oh. You're in such a hurry, Mrs. Walker. But Just, I, I thought I was going to meet this. Yes, yes, you'll meet later on. Later on. A pretty song is like a pardon. Me. Where are you? If that's possible, I, I'm not here. I, I, I can't be found. I've disappeared. I've gone. Gone. Mr. Wynn? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> no! Yes? Well, she just left Mr. Boswell without trying to locate her. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Oh, Miss Walker! Yes? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Miss Walker. Miss Walker. Beautiful music by a beautiful girl. Is everybody crazy around here? I can only speak for myself, but I'm due to go crazy right about here. Mr. Basil wants you. Tell him she's taken. What? Practically taken. Uh, to lunch. Tell him, Miss Walker. And Bob McKay are collaborating on lunch. McKay? Why, are you afraid? Afraid you're right. <laughs> Oh, I like salad. Why, well, you're the salad type. Oh, I am. Yes. You see, some girls are the, the French pastry and whipped cream type. Others fall into the, the meat and potatoes class. But you, you're distinctly salad. Anything else? Uh, no, will you bring the check, please? We're in a hurry to get back. Yes, sir. Back to what? What we were talking about. Dinner at eight, will you? I'll pick you up. No, oh, no, no, you can't do that. I. I won't be there. I'm going to move. Where? Well, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm always moving someplace. I, I'm hardly ever at home. Well, haven't you any permanent address? No. No phone either. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, two. One's private. It's Plaza 3489. Plaza 3489. Well, your number will be safe with me. Don't give it to anyone else. Oh, there isn't any. Well, I mean, I, I, I've always wanted to meet you. You, well, you... You write such beautiful lyrics. You know why? A girl like you and every one of them. He I'll kill that boy! They ought to pass a law putting maximum silencers on all bus boys. Why be specific? I move that anyone shattering the peace of our fair city should be quietly but effectively poisoned. I'll buy that. Graham, 
must have youth and beauty. That's the tie-up. I use her face to advertise my product. There's the very girl, Mary Flynn. How does she look? How does she sing? Like a thrush in the deep tangled wild wood. With that face, she'll have a tough time fighting her way out of it. Uh, Myra Gale. Myra Gale, radio sweetheart. Television will change that. Well, she may have a few lines in her face. Lines, sure. But these are elephant tracks. Ah, here's the one. Voice, reputation, and beauty. Uh, Dorothy Day. No, no, not yes, Dorothy yes. Day. Yes, th th that's her latest photograph. Not Dorothy Day. I know her. Why, she's a peach for me. Why didn't you think of her? Clive, you're terrific. You always come up with them. Get her. Oh, Clive. Did you invite everyone connected with the program to be at my shindig tonight? Practically. You, you haven't given us much notice. <laughs> no, I do think it's on the spur of the moment. Round them up. Tell them it's free. Nothing like starting them off happy. Have the day girl there, too. But Duchess, you can't get Dorothy Day. She wants real money. Well, what do you think I pay off with? Mud pack? Oh. See you around, boys. Now, Dorothy Day won't sing Bob McKay's song. A nice song. McKay's a swell guy. Dorothy's a lovely girl. Hale is a perfect gent, but they don't all like each other. I told you that. I'm going to tell you this. I can't stand you. Uh, what? What'll I do? You'll get Dorothy Day. But you you said she won't sing. Then you don't work. Then I, I don't eat. Well, you buttered your own bread. Go and lie in it. Thank you. Ah, my friend. Luigi, have you, uh, have you got a gun on you? Uh, sure. Uh, what? I can't get Dorothy Day. She won't sing Bob McKay's songs. I've got to kill myself. For that, you nip your life in the bud? No. I, Luigi, will make Dorothy Day listen. Oh, she's crazy for me. I will take you to her. You mean she knows you? She adores me. Come on, step on yourself. We go. Yeah, but if I, if I can't sell the idea, what then? Then you can kill yourself. What you got to lose? Yeah, well, what do you mean, what have I got to lose? Listen, you little bog. I never did like you. Now get out. But you said she adored you. Ah, she thick of Miss Day, please, please be reasonable. Listen, if you're trying to sell me anything, I have some. He's only selling Bob McKay. And I don't want any. But uh, nobody can put over a McKay number like you. Sure, you are a McKay number. Not anymore. I'm engaged to Phil Hale. And, and for that reason, they, they collaborate on this music for you. Funny, Phil didn't tell me. Well, they're, uh, they're smoking the pipe of peace now. Sure, they are willing to smoke. Why should you burn? Please listen. I'll play the number for you. And remember, we are willing to give you your own figure. You don't have to. She's got a damn swell shape for it. Hmm, you like my figure, eh? Well, I like it, too. But I don't like Bob McCain. I won't sing his song. Well, Judy Walker sings a little. I, I guess we can Who's use she? her. Well, she's a very good friend of Boswell. He really wanted... Wait a minute. You mean to say they're trying to put a girl on the air to do my type of singing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bob, Bob McCain won't have any, any part of her. He really wants you. Maybe he's finally found out that I'm the only girl that can sell his song. Pretty good number. And if Phil Hale forgives him, I might. Well, uh, uh, you, you will take the program? I like the song, yes. Well, be at the Duchess party tonight and you can hear them. <laughs> Congratulate me. I'm a success. Just a moment, Luigi. I'm the one who. Uh... Ah, you wouldn't get to first base. I am the one. Luigi, don't tread on my toes. I step on both your feet. I'll cancel your contract. I'll cancel your face and I'll knock your block in. One, two, three, boys, four, five. Boys, boys, if you don't mind, please. My friend, you are genius. No, Luigi, you're the one who gave me courage. Now to phone Bob McKay and get him to the Duchess tonight and everything will be set. Hey, you forget the worst. When Bob McKay meets Judy Walker there, you'll be dead one again. Oh, they won't meet. I'm not inviting her. She won't be there. Nobody told her? No, I've taken good care of her. She doesn't know anything about it and she won't. That, my friend, is strategy. Hello. Yeah, what do you want? Well, make it snappy. I'm all wet. Oh, not you, me. I just got out of the shower. Hey, what is this, a command performance? I can't make it. Well, you tell her I've got a date with a very important young lady, and I can't... Now, Bob, don't be difficult. Sure, bring your lady friend. I'm bringing mine. What? Yes, I have a girl of my own, I think. <clears throat> and Luigi's bringing his. Yes, it's all right. Yes, everything's... Oh, tut, tut, tut. I'm only too happy to be the one to invite your friend. <laughs> yes, right. I'll see you tonight. 
you push it over? Did I, Luigi? <laughs> At times, I surprise myself. <laughs> Present Madame Enrique Capellani, prima donna della scala. To me, she's toots. Charmed, signora. Are you from Italy? No sugar, green turned. And now we have drinks. What'll it be? Oh, well, she just refused. Oh, you might bring me a little ginger ale. No, maybe some wine would be. I tell you, bring me straight bubble with a beer chaser. Gin, lukewarm. About a pint. Hello. Good evening. The Duchess may I present Miss Walker. What for? I know her. Did I invite her? As a matter of fact, you overlooked me, but I'm here. Got in on the rain check, eh? Oh, I asked her. <laughs> nice work. Show her off to the guests. Sure. All right, all right. But I saw them, both of them. They are here. Positive? Positively. Goodbye. Oh, where y'all going? Write me American Express, Africa. My coat, my hat. I'll bring them out in the garden. <clears throat> I'll, I'll be under a bush. I want air. I can't get any air. The service around here is terrible. Hello, Bobby. Oh, hello, Dorothy. I'm Miss Walker. This is Miss Day. Hello. We're pals again, huh? It was swell of you to write these numbers for me. Well, uh, uh, Miss Walker is the one who... Oh, yes. You collaborated with Phil. He didn't tell me. It's a great combination. Hale and McKay, and I'm the girl that can sing them. Break it up, break it up. Come on, you two. You must sing for your supper. Let's do one of the new tunes together, shall we? Come on. Excuse me. And that used to be a twosome. She's very lovely. Well, Walker, that kisser of yours won't scare children. Come on, put yourself in circulation. Two hearts that two hearts for you. When there is happiness inside. With a kiss, kiss, kiss from them, and this make a night like this so bright. Two hearts are dancing tonight. But still they keep on dreaming, and as they cuddle anew, two hearts are dancing as two hearts will do, when there is happiness inside. It's a dance, dance, dance with every glance when they feel the dance invite. Two hearts are dancing, two Sour look, don't you like our amateur night? Oh, you're not an amateur. Neither is Dorothy Day or Hale. You're all completely professional. You've earned your way to the top of the heap. Well, I'll move over if you want to come up. I don't think I can make it, Bob. All right, then. I'll come down. Hey, what is the matter? All of a sudden, you look so tired and... I am. I I've been under a strain. I've got to get away. What do you mean, away? Well, I, I need rest. My nerves are... I'm going to move. Uh, again? You said that at luncheon. So what kind of a place do you live in? That's it. That, that's what's the matter with me. I haven't had any sleep. There's a man next door to me who takes fiendish delight in, in disturbing me. Well, he's a maniac. He goes into fits. Really? Well, there's an old dame in my building who lives in a perpetual state of frenzy. Well, how do you work? Don't you do anything about it? Oh, don't I? So far, I've thrown everything but the piano, and I'm saving that until I catch the old gal going out, and then she's going to wear it for her head. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. 
I'll come over and knock the big lug's block off. What do you say, darling? No, I don't need any help. You know what I do? I get the fire tongs. And oh, do I bang. <laughs> That's cute. You know what I have? I have a niblick that rocks the building. <laughs> 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 oh, hello, Clyde. Hey, come here, get in on this. It seems that we both live next to... Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you know, it was cute when you said your side was winning and you tried to hire me as reinforcement <laughs> because she was out banging you. <laughs> well, 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 it certainly is a small world, isn't it? It's a big world, but there are some pretty small people in it. Yeah, maniacs. And if I remember correctly, people who should be poisoned. So I'm the old dame next door, am I? Have I uh, said something? You've said plenty. You keep out of it. You leave him alone. Don't you tell me what to do, you disagreeable, loud, insufferable... You've made me what I am with your bad manners, your continuous thumping, your piano banging, your glass crashing, your... Shut up! You, you... Give me back my gardenia. Take it. And I'm only sorry the head waiter isn't attached to it. Oh, oh, you can't throw head waiters at me, you female boilermaker. You can't throw pianos at me, you riveter. Clyde, take me home. I brought you here, and I'm going to take you home. If you follow me, I'll scream. Clyde, take me home. I said I'm going to take you home. Folks, will you please take me home? Is everything ready? Yes. Here you are. It's all set. Hey, what is this? Why are you long face when you should be happy? Why, yes, certainly. Hale and Walker will be the toast of the town. The Duchess will extend our contract, and Boswell will admit I'm a great promoter. In fact, I shall demand a ten dollar raise. <laughs> and you, Judy. Oh, <laughs> for you, he's got great surprise. Now, Luigi, not a word, not a word. What is it? No, no, no. I'll. Uh, you tell me, Luigi. No, no, it's a big secret. And if I tell you Phil Hale is arriving, then it's no surprises. Oh, Luigi, you've spoiled it. Hale couldn't get here, could he? Oh, yes. I wired him yesterday. He answered at once. He said if music written by him was on the lovely program, he would be there in person. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Well, I wanted that to be my crowning contribution. Well, he fixed it good, eh? He did. <laughs> we must pick up the changes from Bob. Come along. No, no, you go. I, I have to dress. Well, we'll stop for you when we finish. Everything all right? It's all right with me, sir, if you can get away with it. All right, there it is. Fine, fine. Well, let's go then. No, come on, we'll pick Miss Walker up at her place. Okay. Oh, hello. Bob, uh... What's the matter with the front door, Miss Walker? Well, I, I was in a hurry. Now, let's go, then. Yes, let's get it over with. Oh, no, I just forgot to remember something. I left my portfolio. We must go to your apartment. Oh, no, no. But my music is in it. Yes, we have to have it. Well, uh, but the apartment is... Uh... What's the matter? Well, uh, the painter. The, the painter, there is a varnish on the floor. You can't walk on it. Well, without the music, there's no program. Well, give me the key. I don't care about my shoes. Oh, I lost it. That's why I came the back way. Well, I'll call the manager's office. Well, the painters will open it. Well, I I've got the key to the back door. You wait here. I'll go. This last week has been a strain on her. Yeah, poor child. It's her first program. Eight oh one, please. Mr. Hale, this is the desk. We can't allow you to keep four seals in your apartment. Four seals? What are you talking about? Well, there are two men down here with the seals, and they want to deliver them to your apartment. I'm sorry, but we can't. I didn't buy any seals. I suppose you don't want the barrel of fish, either. Fish? Fish. I'll be right down.
Mr. Hale, we didn't call you. Listen, if this is a game, I don't want to play. Well, probably someone thought you, you were the young lady. Do I look like a young lady? Well, not exactly. What? Well, uh, not like the young lady you loaned your apartment to. What are you talking about? Miss Walker. What, Miss Walker? Well, your niece, sir. Uh, here, uh, here. Here's the letter she presented. There she is, uh, sir, going out the door. Uh, pardon my point. Phil Hale, hello. Oh, hello, Clyde. Where are you rushing to? Let go, I gotta go. Well, I, I got you why. You'll be crazy about the program. Really, it's marvelous. The combined talents of you and your collaborator have given us a musical treat. And McKay's lyrics are inspirational. And Luigi and his orchestra have given us a symphonic rendition. And I'm going to get a $10 raise. She got away. I wonder where they went. Where did those people with Mr. McKay go? They took a cab, sir. Why did they wait? The lady was in a hurry. She insisted. Taxi, sir? Yes. <laughs> well, you'll, uh, you'll see at the broadcasting station. Who? Uh, you're a collaborator. What? Judy Walker. You bet I will. That's going to be an exciting evening. You said it. I'll take a look at that music, and there won't be any program, because I'm going to put that dame in jail. Get in. This program is the first of a series to be brought to you through the courtesy of the Duchess the Lovely Cosmetics. Offering each week at this hour exclusive hit tunes by a new pennant winning battery of Songland, Hale, Walker, and McKay. Dorothy Day, who needs no introduction, is our featured singer. And what I mean, folks, a singer. With Luigi Perando and his orchestra. Senior Perando, put that music on the air. Orchestra. Such to what flavor? I'll take vanilla. Please, I'm asking you. Please, Phil, don't do it. You'll ruin me. When I tell you the girl's using my name to defraud the public, and I... Dorothy, darling, why, I just flew in. Say, do you know what's been going on? I certainly do. You thought you could do a little collaborating on the side. Well, I didn't know. Miss Walker committed a misdemeanor. She certainly did when she let him move into her life. But I didn't. She moved into my apartment. Oh, you admit it. I can prove it. That's all I need to know. But I tell you, the girl's a forger. Nice company you keep, you two-timer. You see, even my girl. I'll get the station manager. I'll call the police. I'll wreck the program. Boy. Are there uh, two G's in resignation? I don't know. I always get fired. After 10 years with the firm, I hereby offer. As usual, Clyde, you're handling everything in your own inimitable way. My boy, I never doubted your ability to have the program in the exact condition it is at this moment. Goodbye. Manager, he's going to stop the broadcast. He's going to call the police. You going to jail, and I'm going to Africa. I don't care. Yeah, but I don't like Africa. Why? I'm sorry if I got you into trouble, but I don't care about myself. Oh, I guess I deserve it. But uh, I can't believe you're a desperate criminal. I'm not. I was a desperate failure. I couldn't sell my music. No one would even listen to it. I couldn't pay my rent. They put me out. I had to do something. Gee, I had to eat, didn't I? Hold everything. That Walker girl can't put it over on me. I'll sue for damages and get them, unless you stop the program. Wait, wait. She, she was hungry. She had to eat. Get out of here. Who had to eat? What? Judy Walker. She had to eat his apartment. No, I, I mean she had to move into his food. No, I mean... Did she have to forge my name? Well, certainly. She couldn't forge her own. She was desperate. The landlord wouldn't listen to her music. No, I mean... I mean, uh, she, she wouldn't raise the rent. No, I mean... She, she, she had no money, no place to go but out. No parents except one father and mother. But she had rhythm. I mean music. She had beautiful music. You should write so good. What? Oh, Phil, she's a poor girl. Give her a leg. What? A leg up, a chance, you know. Get out of here. 
get around to you later and have you fired. Thank you. <coughs> Settle down, Phil. Take it easy. I've heard those songs, and they're sure to be winners. Now, why don't you hear them before What about you? my good name, my apartment, my girl? I still can't stop the program. All right, don't stop the program. Oh, I knew you'd listen to reason. I'll go on the air and tell it to the world. As an added attraction on this first program of the Duchess de Lovely series, you will hear Bob McKay and Judy Walker. Well, we have another distinguished guest, Phil Hale. He wants to say a few words to you. But in the meantime, Luigi Parando and his orchestra. Phil Hale's here. We are going to have a little surprise. Good old Clyde. He hasn't missed a trick. I'm going to give him a raise. Mr. McKay, you go on right after the snow. Okay, thanks. Bob, Bob. Oh, the police are coming on account of the music. <laughs> Is it that bad? I'm going to sing now, so they better send for a riot squad. You don't understand. It's Judy's music. I'll tell her not to give her right name. Yeah, that's what started. She used Hale's name, and he didn't know anything about it. Yeah, what was she doing in his apartment? She was living there. Well, if she likes him that much, she'd better marry him. No, she can't do that. He's mad at it. He's gone in the air and divorced. I mean, denounce. He's going to spill the dirt. Do you know what that means? Sure, it'll make Winchell awfully sore. Well, won't you do something? Yeah, I'll write him a fan letter. Oh, that'll be... What do you mean, a fan letter? That won't do any good. Bob, please let me explain. Save your explanations for your boyfriend. Don't say that. I... Oh, I've got to get away. Now, wait a minute. I don't care what you do after the broadcast, but we've been announced and we're going on the air. Happy landing. Well, life has treated her cruelly. I'm not interested. But all her little brothers and sisters are orphans, and she has a dear old mother in jail. That's where she's going. She'll be company for her mother. Oh, no, you can't do this. You're too fine. Think of all the good deeds you've done. How you played for the Kiwanis Club, the Junior Chamber of Commerce. You're standing as an elf. Well, you know what it is to suffer. Don't make this poor child... Clyde, I don't like to do this, but the girl's taken advantage of it. Bragging again. Oh, he wants the world to know what he's going on the air. Don't worry. He's just staging an act. He wouldn't dare make the situation public. Oh, wouldn't I? No. Come on, I'll show you. Are you Hale? Yes. No, I'm, uh... Okay? Uh, yeah, certainly. Who are you? We're police officers. Oh, how nice of you to drop in. We're here to arrest somebody. Yes, yes. Right after this next number, Mr. Hale will be with you in here. You can see and hear everything. Okay. Got any comics on this program? Uh, no, no. Then who are we gonna lock up? I'll find somebody for you. What do you mean, who are you gonna lock up? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let me explain. Not a chance. It wasn't enough using my name on your music, but Will you Jenny? please save your battle until you get home? But I haven't got home. He's back. And you're going to jail. Jail? If yeah, she broke into my apartment while I was out of town. That's too bad. And now, the man who has endeared himself to you all with his many hit tunes. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Phil Hale. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob McKay taking the liberty of saying a few words about Phil Hale. About his great heart, his beautiful character, qualities even finer than his ability as a musician. The announcer told you that the music for this program was written by Hale and Walker. What he didn't tell you was that this fine, chivalrous gentleman found Judy Walker alone, broke, a desperate failure. Did he turn a deaf ear? No. He shared his celebrated name with her and helped write these sparkling tunes. He moved from his palatial apartment, leaving his dear old aunt to care for Judy, to nurse her back to happiness, health, and success. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Phil Hale. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob has placed me in a very embarrassing position. I did nothing, I assure you. Judy Walker alone is responsible for the success I am sure she will attain. I bow before her artistry, I congratulate her. And I ask only that she remain my little pal. Dancing as two hearts will do When there is happiness inside Do a beat, beat, beat That makes complete every dream of sweet delight Two hearts are dancing tonight Two eyes are glancing as two eyes will do When there are other eyes inside the kids, 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 the man, the miss, make a night like this so bright. It was the looks. Showmanship, Clyde. Showmanship. Showmanship. Learn to raise, my boy. A big raise. That's it. 
still they keep on dreaming, and as they cuddle me, two hearts are dancing as two hearts will do. When they feel romance in the fight, who are dancing?